Dear learners, welcome you all to the module on performance measurement and controls in supply chain. Measuring supply chain performance has many approaches, but most are extremely complex and difficult to implement. Added to this is the problem of sharing data on performance across the supply chain without compromising competitive secrets. Goldratt has come up with much simpler approach to document and access supply chain performance based on speed of flow of materials. The module covers Goldratt's approach as three lessons namely supply chain performance measurement and control mechanisms, supply chain performance and control throughput dollar days, supply chain performance and control inventory dollar days. The learning objective is to explain the need for measuring supply chain performance and the concept of throughput dollar days and inventory dollar days as the supply chain performance and control measure. By the end of the session, the learner will be able to appreciate Godrat's approach to supply chain performance and control, apply throughput and inventory dollar days in setting supply chain performance measures. Welcome you all to the first lesson on Supply Chain Performance Measurement and Control. Supply Chain Management aims to ensure effective flow of materials, information and funds across various supply chain partners. So what should the supply chain performance measure and control mechanism be? A well-established supply chain performance and control should provide insights about supplier competencies, customer satisfaction, outcomes of supply chain network and partnership. The supply chain models, namely supply chain operations reference model, design chain operations reference model and the customer chain operations reference model define the processes for effective supply chain performance and metrics for performance measurement. The second most important performance measure is the cost of supply chains. The application of activity-based costing across the supply chain by all the pa participants of the supply chain has led to performance and control of supply chains. In contemporary supply chain management process, the performance of supply chain is measured across two key performance indicators, timely delivery of products and services, cost savings due to timely delivery of products and services. Control mechanisms. The delivery of products will have an impact on the cost associated with excess inventory and extensive lead time. So the three major supply chain control mechanisms that have been adapted by all the supply chain partners are managing inventory velocity, time compression and perfect order. Now I will present some highlighting points across the supply chain control mechanisms and its impact on supply chain performance. Managing Inventory Velocity Inventory is a challenge in supply chain because excessive inventory leads to unproductive investment and obsolescence. Inventory shortages lead to delays across the supply chain and customer dissatisfaction. Inventory velocity is a control mechanism which will reduce bullwit perfect and ensure timely supply. Inventory compression is emphasized at every point of the supply chain. The total cost of excess or shortage of inventory should be considered across the entire supply chain. Total inventory dollar days is a metric that can be deployed for inventory management. Time compression. Inventory and logistics issues in supply chains result in longer lead time and stockout situations. This has emphasized the requirement for time compression. Time compression can be effectively executed by monitoring the cycle time metrics namely order placement to order fulfillment, manufacture to order completion, on-time customer delivery, order to cash conversion, outstanding sales days. Throughput dollar days is a matrix that can result in time compression and reduce blockages across the supply chain. Perfect orders. A firm receiving the goods from its suppliers should be as per the specification in the orders. Perfect order fulfillment by suppliers 
is the beginning of effective supply chain performance as it ensures the quality of end products and services. Cost savings due to avoidance of delays, longer lead time and returns. Similarly, perfect order fulfillment to meet customer expectation is the ultimate measure of the supply chain performance. This would lead to enhanced customer satisfaction and reduce reverse logistics issues. With the basic understanding of performance measurement and control, a small exercise for you. Identify five performance issues in supply chain and suggest a control mechanism for the same. Thank you and welcome you all for the next two lessons in supply chain performance measurement and control by Professor N. Vivek.